All right, guys, so uh, today I'm going to be showing you a very, very cool card trick. Um, this now I believe this was invented by Harry Lorraine. Um, it's just super simple. It involves two cards. And um, anyways, guys, here's what it's going to look like. All right, so the way you start the trick is by showing your spectator. You're going to be using two cards. And all you got to do is show them. Okay, so we have the queen of diamonds as well as the ace of spades. So what I'm going to do is give you both cards. We don't need the rest of the deck for the trick. And now what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectator, okay, so you have two cards here, the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Diamonds. Just say whichever one you want. So at this point, the spectator is going to say, all right, I want the Ace of Spades. All right. So you take both cards just like this. You're going to go ahead and show the spectators really quickly a little funny move. And it looks like the Ace of Spades is the only card that is actually flipped over. And if they, you know, this kind of freaks them out again, you ask them, okay, wait, what was the card you said, the Ace of Spades? And they tell you, okay, well, you know, that's kind of impossible because let's go ahead and I might scoop the cards up just like this, flip them to my hand. As you guys can see, there was never an ace of spades to begin with. So this is the trick, guys, and if you want to learn how to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's how you can do um, the trick. It's very, very easy. Um, all you're going to need are two duplicate cards, one red and one blue. So in this case, I happen to use, I just use the queen of diamonds. They stand out, you know, pretty contrastingly with the ace of spades. So, you know, if you're using black queens, you might want to use... Um, a uh, red ace. So essentially that's what you do. Take one blue and for just for examples you know I have one um, one red and one blue queen of diamonds and then I have a blue deck and now what you're going to do is take the off color so in this case the off color queen of diamonds you can stick that and put that in a pinky break and then you can put the ace of spades and then the regular queen. So your setup just looks like this. Queen, ace, Queen, and the one on top, if you're looking at them face up, should be the off color. Square all these up, put these in a thumb break or a pinky break on top of the deck so that way you can easily grab them just like this. And then what you do real casually is you go up to the spectator, and at this point, you know, it just looks like you're holding the deck regularly. And you can go up to them and just, you know, pick them up in middle grip so you have your thumb at the bottom and your, you know, your middle here at the top. And all you do is you just kind of want to casually you know, slide over, slide over the top card and maybe show them, you know, it's, it looks like blue all around. So you have two blue cards, you have the blue deck, and it really kind of emphasizes the fact that, you know, there's nothing going on. So you show them, all right, so we have two cards here, um, and you square it up, and then what you do is you flip the whole packet over. So you have three cards, and you flip the whole thing over, so it's face up, just like this. Your setup is going to look like this to begin with, but obviously you don't want the spectators to see that. So what you can do here is you just single lift. You just take off the top card, but you don't show this to the spectator because this is actually the red back. So you can leave that on the table or put it in their hands. I would suggest just putting it on the table because you don't want them to start flipping it around. Um, and at this point, like I said, obviously you have two face-up cards. So what you have to do is a double lift. So you know you lift over two cards, and I'll leave a link on the screen for that. You flip over two cards, making it look like one, push over the top card and that's actually the second queen. So from here, um, the trick is pretty much done. You know, the other ace of spades is on top of the deck and you can just put the deck wherever you want. And at this point, the trick, like I said guys, is set up. So now there's two variations obviously because you're giving the spectator um, the option to choose which card they want. So in the case of the performance that I did, it was super simple. They chose the ace of spades. So the pattern is just going to be like this. Oh, and this, this little move is it's nothing fancy. Um, basically, you just flip your left hand over. So as your left hand flips over, your right hand goes on top, and it just you just push out the cards like this. You push down the cards with your thumb as you're flipping your hand, and then your middle finger of your opposite hand just kind of swivels the two cards around, and then you catch it. So. You know, it just, it's it's not it's nothing. You're not doing a slight. It's just a little fancy way of, you know, showing the cards to the spectator. So, that's up to you what you guys want to do about that. Um, but anyways, so at this point, the spectator says the ace of spades, and you know, you do your little fancy move. You take both the cards, you flip them over, and as you reveal them from your hands, it looks like pops out the color has changed. So it's pretty cool. Um, and at this point, you know, you can ask the spectators. You act like. You go, okay, so you, what, what was your card again? You said the, um, the ace of spades, and then, you know, you're going to say, well, that's kind of impossible. You flip it over one more time, and then, boom, it's both queens. Now, 
if you did it the other way, if they said it was the queen of diamonds, you would just do the same exact thing. You'd have both the cards here. You say, okay, so you know, you pick the queen of diamonds. You go, you do your flip maneuver. You pull it out and you say, okay, wow. Look, so the queen is the only card that looks like it stayed the same color. So then you go, okay, so your card was actually the queen of diamonds. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because it looks like the only thing we have are queen of diamonds. So either way, it works, um, which is really cool. It's just kind of how you want to set it up. But that is the trick, guys. It's by Harry Lorraine, I believe. Um, if not, you guys can correct me down in the comments. But, you know, best of luck, and uh, let me know how the trick goes. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.